Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crow Bites. Today let's try a popular dish from Goa, prawns rechado. Rechado is a Portuguese word meaning stuffed. It's a classic uh, Goan masala which has a spicy, hot and tangy flavor and slightly reddish orange in color. And it's very famous in Goa and mainly used while cooking fish. So let's get started. So the first step is to prepare the rechado masala. For that you need Kashmiri red chili, garlic, ginger, whole spices, cumin seeds, tamarind, sugar, vinegar, salt. So at first we are going to uh, soak all the ingredients for the masala in the vinegar. So take a bowl and add quarter cup of vinegar. Here I am using red wine vinegar. Traditionally coconut vinegar is used. You can use the normal white wine vinegar. Use quarter cup. Add half inch piece of ginger. 10 to 12 uh, cloves of garlic, medium sized. And now we are going to add um, quarter teaspoon of tamarind paste or a small uh, bowl of fresh tamarind and the whole spices uh, which is like quarter teaspoon black peppercorns, six cloves, a small half inch cinnamon piece, one cardamom, quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds as well. If you want you can skip the cinnamon and cardamom but I have used a small piece of cinnamon and one cardamom and now we are going to add the Kashmiri red chilli. If you want uh, it to be a bit less spicy, you can take out the seeds of the chilies and then use it. Break it into small pieces and just add to the vinegar. One teaspoon of sugar and salt to taste. Now mix everything really well and set aside for at least 15 to 20 minutes. If you can, uh, keep it soaked for at least one hour. After 20 minutes, let's grind the uh, soaked ingredients um, into a fine paste. So transfer that to a mixer and grind it into a fine smooth paste. Try not to add water if possible, but if it's uh, it's not possible, add one or two tablespoons of water. So this is how your masala will look like after grinding. The next step is to cook the masala. Heat a pan and add few tablespoons of oil. To this, uh, we are going to add the ground masala. Keep a low to medium flame. cook the masala uh, by stirring it continuously it might take four to five minutes cook it really well until the mixture begins to bubble up with this amount of ingredients uh, you get three tablespoons of the masala which is uh, what we require for this recipe it's almost done you can see a slight color change yeah now it's done so switch off the flame and transfer uh, to a bowl if you want to make larger quantity of this masala you can just increase the amount of ingredients and then grind it and after cooking the masala the same way and once it's cooled it can be transferred to an airtight container and stored in the stored in the refrigerator uh, for later use so now let's move on to the final stage which is marinating and cooking the prawns you need prawns 500 grams two medium sized onions and chopped coriander leaves so let's marinate the prawns first to a bowl add 500 grams of fresh cleaned and deveined prawns and to this we are going to add one tablespoon of the ground and cooked masala and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder now mix it really well so that the masala 
the prawns and the masala are all mixed really well and keep this uh, aside for uh, half an hour after 30 minutes heat a pan and add two tablespoons of oil to this we are going to add uh, two medium sized onions chopped and sauteed onions keep a medium flame add salt to taste sauteed onions well to this I'm going to add two cloves of garlic sliced uh, this is optional saute well now we're going to add the marinated prawns And the remaining two tablespoons of the uh, ground paste mix really well so that the the prawns the onions and the masala are all mixed well do keep a medium flame and you're going to cook the prawns until they are well done I'm adding a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder as well this is optional you can omit this if you don't want it to be a bit more spicy mix thoroughly and cook the prawns do not add any water let the prawns get cooked in the masala itself keep it covered and cook for another five minutes prawns get cooked easily now the prawns are cooked this uh, dish doesn't have much gravy so if you want it to be like what you see now um, you can uh, switch off the flame now and serve because the prawns is already cooked but we like to have it a bit more uh, you know dry so that the masala is completely absorbed by the prawns um, so I'm cooking it for another two three minutes in a medium flame you can also uh, you know at first fry the marinated prawns with the masala the remaining two tablespoons of the masala until they are crisp and then add the onions and stir fry really well or you can um, skip the onions and just um, uh, dust the marinated prawns in semolina and then um, fry it until they are crisp and brown on both sides in that way it can be used as a starter as well so you can cook this dish in any of these styles check the seasoning I'm adding a bit more salt and mix really well this masala is also used as a stuffing for fish like mackerel and pomfret frit uh, before frying them which is another specialty dish of Goa See it's all dried up and the prawns are well coated with the masala. I'm adding a pinch of sugar as well just to balance the taste. Switch off the flame. Our prawns shadow is ready. Add some chopped coriander leaves. Mix well. transfer to a serving plate 
this is a very uh, tasty dish which has a balanced flavor of the spices uh, sweetness and a tangy flavor um, and it goes well with steamed rice roti chapati the kerala appam or any other bread of your choice so please uh, do try this recipe and let me know your feedback i hope you all like this recipe see you all soon with more good recipes until then goodbye